people that worked for John Brennan approached me while I was in my specialist training in the Navy. I worked for Obama's National Security Advisor, General James Jones, for about eight years for the development of social media psychological warfare. We're talking about military grade psychological yes. warfare weapons being used on mm -hmm. American citizens. Paid for by American taxpayers. I was a contractor for various intelligence agencies. Our intelligence doesn't stay within our borders or within federal buildings. Force Psychological Operations Group had no idea that we were going to be taking their years worth of work that they paid us to do and we kept the intellectual property rights to it and um, uh, remarketed it, branded it commercially as the shadow net. It pries into your demographic, your world. So if I want to blackmail you and put you under my thumb, not only will I know everything, I will know people I can get in contact to find out more about you. I had full access to communications between the former GCHQ director, Hannigan, Adam Schiff, Daniel Jones, Brennan, General Jones, and many, many more. You may know where the Hillary Clinton emails are. Would you want to see me in Leavenworth? Which I don't, by the way, so nobody raid me. What basically you You've heard just being described for the last three or four years with fake news and the fake news journalists, fake stories, fake dossier. All these things are attributes and characteristics of psychological warfare. What did you name it iSci for? I like the iPhone uh, Sci for psychological warfare. Okay. These operations aren't like just small things. They have to coordinate and organize all of these things. They have to coordinate with the assets they have in the media. And they have to do all of this without any attribution to themselves. 